Hi there, welcome to this week's video and today we're talking about how to apply LUTs on Fenica Pro. I'm not gonna go too much into color grading or color correction here, I'm just really gonna focus on LUT and how to apply it. So jumping straight into the software here. We have our files in here, uh, we have an adjustment layer on top. If you don't know about adjustment layers, we just did a video on them. The reason why I like using adjustment layers is, for example, here we have three different clips. Uh, I wanna use the LUT on all of them. Research for a LUT, custom LUT. I'm gonna throw that into the adjustment layer. That can be used straight into the file itself, but I would recommend you using an adjustment layer just as a way to keep yourself organized. Creating layers on your video editing will give you a more professional look in case you need to change anything in the future. Whenever you add your custom LUT to your adjustment layer, you're gonna have this drop down menu. It's LUT, convert, input, output, mix. Rex 709 is the, the most natural color. In here, I have some of the LUTs that I already have on, on my Fenica. You can go and choose custom LUT. For that, you need to have a LUT. I might add a handful of LUTs down here if you wanna try this out or you wanna just have them here. Let's say I have a couple of, I have quite a few of these here. So I might just select this one. Let's say color 10, I go open. If you have multiple ones, let's say you got a whole pack of LUT and there's like five, 15, 30, 100 different ones. You can select them all and then press enter. What that's gonna do is gonna bring now to your drop down. It made a very drastic change. I think that this looks a little too much. Let's see. And if you go into this mix slider, you can go into zero, see how your footage actually look. W one is the full LUT. So you can start messing back and forward. Like that doesn't feel like enough. Something around 1.6 looks right for me here. Again, you can check the other files, see how that's affecting those. For this particular example, I'm only focusing on the first clip, but if you're doing a whole film and you wanna keep it to a look, just cut the adjustment layers and maybe add a little more or less depending on the shot or make sure it's the same throughout the whole thing. Bear in mind that this footage hasn't been color corrected or adjusted in any way. I'm just slapping a lot here and trying to make it work. Usually the, the workflow would be a lot better if you do a correction first, a grading, and then you add the LUT. The LUT should be a slight adjustment to a stylize your footage. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be depending on the LUT to fix anything. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next week.